everyone. Thank you for joining us on our virtual on-demand kickoff for 2021. I hope you are all finding this beneficial and are acquiring some new skills to build your business for 2020. My name is Nicole Blaine. I am an annuity sales director here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. Today, I will be going over some of our top performing income riders that we have in our annuity portfolio and explaining what each one offers your clients. Please feel free to call me at any time after you've reviewed this information with any questions you might have about any of the material that I cover today. With that being said, let's get started. Today, my presentation is going to be on income riders, but I'm gonna start by talking about the four different types of annuities that we do have available. We have accumulation annuities, we have multi-year guaranteed annuities, we have SPIAs, which some people do think of as an annuity product, and then we have income annuities that have a lifetime income benefit rider on them. So a lifetime income benefit rider is something that you can purchase on your income annuity. It does have a fee, but it does guarantee income for the contract owner or joint owners if they choose the joint option for the rest of their life. This feature provides more financial security with an annuity and is often a useful instrument to get more out of the annuity investment. Now, there are lots of variations to the income riders that we do have available. Some of the annuities have what I'm going to refer to throughout this presentation as doublers based on confinement. Some of them have the doubler based on two of six ADLs. And then the other important consideration is that if there is any accumulated value left in the annuity after the client passes away and no longer needs the income, the balance of the accumulated value will pass to the beneficiary. In simplest terms, the lifetime income benefit rider provides a steady stream of income upon triggering benefits, even after the accumulated cash value of the annuity is exhausted. So they are. this is because the parent annuity and the lifetime income benefit rider can be seen as two separate contracts. So you're going to have an account value, and then you're going to have what is referred to as a benefit base, an income base, et cetera, that the client's income will be based on, based on their age and their income that they, the deposit that they do put into the annuity. It is important when speaking with your clients to find out what their top priorities are from their lifetime income benefit rider. Is it an enhanced death benefit? Is it the highest payout? Are they concerned about having extra funds for any type of healthcare situation that might arise down the road? So the first product that we are going to go over today is the AIG Power Select Plus Income with Lifetime Income Flex. This product offers clients a guaranteed 7% roll-up rate until they turn on their guaranteed living benefit. So as you can see in the chart below, if you have a 65-year-old client who deposits $100,000, and let's say they wait the full 10 years because that 7% roll up is for that 10 year term. By the time they are 75, they have gained 
thousand dollars of free money on their income account which is what their annual payout will be based upon. So, as we go on to the next slide, we're gonna talk about what AIG's PowerSelect Plus Income offers on the enhanced income benefit. What this contract will do is double your client's guaranteed lifetime income withdrawal for up to five years or until your client's account value is at zero, they, if they are confined to a qualified care facility, such as a nursing home, for at least 90 consecutive days. The flexibility to take income without impact, impacting key guarantees is one thing that is very nice about this products. So withdrawals taken prior to activation of the income rider will not void the 7% income credit that they can receive for up to 10 years. It will not eliminate the double doubler on the lifetime income benefit. And it will not lock in the maximum annual withdrawal amount and then the other thing that this policy offers that some policies don't, don't, this does have a single and joint payout. However, if something changes in your client's life, let's say they're 65 years old, their spouse dies, five years later, they decide they wanna get remarried, they can add their new spouse to the policy as a joint annuitant and receive a joint payout that will last both clients for the rest of their life. Now, if something should happen and the spouse that they had the joint policy with should pass away or divorce, they can go back to a single payout. Okay, so we've gone over the 7% roll-up rate that this contract offers. We've gone over the income base. It equals the eligible premiums and it may increase to the greater of the contract value or the income base plus any available income credit on the contract anniversary. The income credit base initially equals the eligible premium that's deposited. It may increase with the income base on each contract anniversary and the income credit period on that 7% roll up is for the first 10 years of the contract. The next product we are going to go over is the Fidelity and Guarantee Accelerator. We're gonna cover two f and products today. One that has a higher payout, but one that maintains the accumulated value on the contract longer, which is the F&G Accelerator. So let's talk about how this happens. Okay, so the income base is used to determine the fees and income payments under this package. It is not the value that can be surrendered or withdrawn, as with the majority of the income annuities. Clients can choose when they would like to turn on their income payments. The withdrawal payment amount is determined by the income base at the time payments begin and calculated as the greatest of the premium value equal to the lesser of premiums paid in policy year one multiplied by a premium factor of 5%, which is the premium bonus for clients 75 and younger, or 3.25% for clients 76 to 85, or the total account value, less premiums received after the first policy year multiplied by the performance multiplier. The bonus on this product does vest over a 10 year period. The death benefit will be paid to the beneficiary as a lump sum. 
The accelerator gives you the option for a fee to receive scheduled income for life as guaranteed withdrawal payments. If you don't make any excess withdrawals any year, payments will never run out no matter how long you live, even if your account value is depleted to zero. You may begin withdrawal payments anytime after the first contract year on this policy, and you must be at least 50 years old. When you wanna start income is completely up to you as long as it is after that first contract year. So the payment amount is determined by the income base of your account at the time you begin withdrawal payments. The income base is different from your account value, as I spoke of earlier, and cannot be surrendered or withdrawn. Your guaranteed withdrawal payments may increase if you become impaired to the extent that you are unable to perform at least two of six activities of daily living. So this is where this policy differs from the AIG policy. The AIG policy requires confinement to a nursing home for at least 90 days. This policy doubles the client's income based on two of six activities of daily living. Now here is what is the key to this product and maintaining that accumulated value I was referring to. Not only does this product offer all of the S&P strategies that you would expect, it also offers the Barclays Trailblazer Sector 5 Index on a two-year point-to-point with and without a fee. That Barclays Trailblazer is a very high-performing index and will help your, account, your client maintain their account value. Next product we're going to talk about is FNG Safe Income Plus. As I stated earlier, this product does not maintain the account value like the accelerator, but this product does have a higher payout for your clients than the accelerator does. So if they are concerned about the highest payout, this would be the product you would want to go with. So Safe Income Plus is a guaranteed income machine, as F&G likes to call it. It has a 7% premium bonus that vests immediately to the income base and to the account value over time. It has a 6% enhanced guaranteed minimum withdrawal benefit roll-up rate guaranteed for up to 10 years. But once the client turns on income, the 6% roll-up it no longer exists. So the Safe Income Plus is going to provide your clients with a guaranteed lifetime income that they cannot outlive unless they have made excess withdrawals. You can begin your guaranteed withdrawal payments after the first contract year, as long as you're 50 years old. The payment is determined by your income base on your account at the time you begin withdrawals. And the income base, like I said, is different from the account value and cannot be surrendered or withdrawn. Your guaranteed withdrawal payments may increase if you become impaired to the extent you are unable to perform two of six ADLs. So F and G offers their doubler based on two of six ADLs as opposed to confinement. So the income on this product will double for up to five years or until the account value hits zero, just as the accelerator does. And the death benefit is paid out to your beneficiary as a lump sum. Next product we are going to go over is the American Equity Income Shield 10. It does give your clients a 7% premium bonus on all first-year premiums. They can take free withdrawals up to 10% of the contract value starting in year two. They can start systematic withdrawals of interest only 
from the fixed value available 30 days after issue. It does have the nursing care rider and the terminal illness rider for owners under age 75. This policy does have market value adjustment. It does have optional lifetime income benefit riders that you can select from. It doesn't have any surrender charges at death and the issue ages are 18 to 80. Now we're gonna take a look at the different options that American Equity offers for lifetime income benefit riders. The first one we're gonna look at is the no fee lifetime income benefit rider. This has a 4% compounding rate and the accumulation period on that is 15 years. Income payments can begin 30 days after contract issue with this no fee rider. They also give you an option of a 7.25% simple interest roll up for a 1.1% annual fee based on the income account value deducted from the contract value, and they will give you that 7.25 for seven years. Income payments can begin one year after contract issue. They also give you a 6% compound interest for 10 years if you would like that. Fee is 1.1, accumulation period is 15 years, and income can begin after one, after the first contract year. And then we're going to go over the lifetime income benefit rider with the well being benefit. So you can choose from a 7.25 simple interest roll up or a 6% compound for 10 year roll up. The 7.25 and the 6% both charge 1.2% on an annual fee. The waiting period on the doubler is two years. That's important to remember. The client has to be receiving income for two years before they can trigger the doubler. But it does double 200% of the income payout. So if your client's receiving $3,000 a year, they will receive $6,000 a year for up to five years or until their account value is at zero. The next product we are going to go over is one that's new to our product portfolio within the last year, and it is the SILAC, formerly Equitable, Denali series. There are so many good features of this contract. This product will provide your clients with an income at no fee that they can start after the first contract year. The withdrawals are guaranteed for the life of the client as long as they don't take any excess withdrawals. Even if your account value falls to zero, any excess withdrawals that a client would make would lead to a recalculation of the lifetime income benefit rider. Coverage is available both single and joint, and payments can be made monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, and annually. And then the other thing that this policy offers is wellness withdrawals. So after the second policy year, you can receive wellness withdrawals if you cannot perform two of six ADLs. So another income product that doubles income based on two of six ADLs. If you elected the single lifetime withdrawals, then your wellness withdrawals will double the amount of the lifetime withdrawal for up to five years or until your account value is depleted to zero. So this product can also be used for accumulation. It just has the free income rider on it if your client thinks that at some point they might want to take income. That's when this policy is a really good selection for your client. 
if they're not certain whether or not they would like to take income, there is not a lot of reason for them to purchase an income annuity with a rider fee that is going to take away from their account value every year. With this product, you have a free income rider that does have a doubler on it as well based on two of six ADLs. So let's talk about the free withdrawal provisions. Each year after the first policy year, you can withdraw up to 5% of your account value. RMDs are allowed in the first year, even if they exceed the 5% free withdrawal. Other benefits that this policy offers is the nursing home benefit. So after the first policy year, you can withdraw up to 100% of your annuities account value if you become confined to a qualified care facility for at least 90 consecutive days and meet the eligibility requirements. There is a waiting period of one year after policy issues and you cannot be confined at the time the policy is issued. It also offers the terminal illness benefit. So after the first policy year, your client can withdraw up to 100% of the account value free of surrender and MVA if they are diagnosed with a terminal illness that results in them having a life expectancy of less than 12 months and they meet the eligibility requirements. And again, they cannot be confined at the time the policy issues. Then it also has a home health benefit. After the first policy year, you can withdraw up to 100% of your annuity's account value if you need home health services and meet the eligibility requirements and that withdrawal is free of surrender and MVA. Next product we are going to go over is one of the highest payout products that we do have in our portfolio. It is NASA's personal income annuity. So what this policy does is it's going to give your client a 30% bonus right off the bat. So as you can see, the benefit base on $100,000 jumps immediately from $100,000 to $130,000. Then it gives a 7.5% jump each year in the first three years that the client does not turn on income. So if your client deposits $100,000, day one, year four, they want to turn on income, they have a $145,000 benefit base that their income will be based off of. So essentially what they are getting is $45,000 of free money to draw income off of. And then additionally, the income today strategy offers a 3% simple interest roll up in years three through 10 if the client does not turn on income or the client can choose the income tomorrow strategy. This will be if your client wants to wait at least 10 years to turn on the income, but what it does do is have a 14% simple interest roll up to grow your benefit base for 10 years. So in the graph below, client invests $100,000 into this product, they wait till day one, year 11, to activate their income. Their benefit base is now $240,000. They have now gained $140,000 for their income to be based off of. Next product we are going to go over is NASA's Personal Protection Choice. This product has the riders to take care of your client if they cannot perform two of six ADLs, but it also has an enhanced death benefit, which we will go over. So it still has the same strategies as the personal income annuity. It has the income today strategy. They can get a 45% bonus if they do not take income in the first three years or they can choose the income tomorrow strategy. 
again, 14% simple interest for the first 10 years, which takes the account value up to $240,000. So it has the care protection rider to cover any unplanned health care expenses the client may have. The nursing home care that they provide up to age 70 is 250% of their annual income benefit as long as they are 70 years or younger. And 71 to 85, they will receive a doubler or 200% on their income benefit. Their maximum amount benefit will be $17,500. Now, this does not double for two of six ADLs, but what it does do is it gives you a 175% income increase as long as the client is under age 70. If the client is 71 to 85, it will increase that income benefit 125%. The maximum care benefit for two of six ADLs will be $12,500. And then it also has the family protection on it. A lot of clients are concerned about financially protecting their loved ones in the event of an unexpected death. The family protection benefit provides an enhanced death benefit based on a separate death benefit base that rolls up every year until you exercise income or care benefits. The roll up amount is based on your attained age. So the death benefit is gonna roll up 10% each year until you are age 70 or until you turn on income and it's going to increase 5% if you are 71 to 85. Roll-ups will be credited annually for up to 70 years or until you reach 85, whichever is first, and the death benefit will be reduced by any withdrawals. Next product we are going to go over is one of my favorites in our portfolio, the Equitrust Market Value Index. This product does have several indexing options for your clients. So in turbulent times, they do have a variety of places to allocate funds to, to see some pretty decent gains on their account value. So they offer the S&P 500 index. They also offer the Barclays Focus 50 index, which has an annual volatility target of 5%. They also have the S&P Mark 5 index, which has done over 8% this year. So if you add the lifetime income benefit rider to the market value with Equitrust, you will receive double income for five years in the event of chronic illness. So they can, there is no confinement that is required. They just need to be unable to perform two of six ADLs. It also applies to extreme permanent cognitive impairment. And it will double, this is, important, the withdrawals may be, may continue even if the accumulation value is depleted. So your client will get a doubler for five years, even if the accumulation is depleted to zero. Let's say the accumulation value goes to zero in year two, they're still going to get three more years of double income and it is approved in all states. Upon spousal continuation of lifetime payments with single life payout, income is recalculated and continues for the life of the spouse, even if the accumulated value is depleted. And the income rider annual fee is based on the contract's accumulation value, not the faster growing benefit base practiced by most carriers. The lower rider cost 
may help in preserving your client's accumulation value. So the income withdrawal rules are as follows. Anytime after the first contract year, as long as the client is age 50, they can turn on the income. Equitrust, just like F&G, allows them to start and stop the income and then restart it at a chosen time for the client. Payments will continue for life, even if the contract's accumulation value is depleted. Income withdrawals may be taken monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. After income withdrawals start, the annual penalty-free amount is the greater of 10% of the accumulation value or your income withdrawal benefit. The rider fee on this policy is relatively low at 0.95% of your accumulation value. The benefit base will be increased by any additional premiums and will receive a 10% bonus to the benefit base for all first year premium. Additional premiums are not allowed after the start of income withdrawals. And as we went over previously, if the client is chronically ill or cannot perform two of six ADLs, it will double their income for five years. The enhanced income withdrawals may be utilized after the contract has been in effect for three years. So there is the disadvantage. The contract has to be in effect for three years. And there does have to be accumulation value in the account. Next product we are going to go over is Equitrust Market Power Bonus Index, which is a great policy for clients who are in something that they may want to get out of because they're not seeing the earnings that they want or they've decided they don't want to be in an accumulation product. They want something with an income rider on it that does have a doubler based on two of six ADLs. So this product features the 10% premium bonus on all first year premiums, which helps get cases through suitability because that 10% bonus can help make the client whole from any surrender charges that they may be facing. The difference in this policy from the market value is that this policy offers the S&P 500 indexes and the Barclays Focus 50 index, but does not offer the S&P Mark V. The rider it works the same as the market value. Um, the optional rider offers guaranteed lifetime income based on 6% accumulation value for up to 10 years. It does have the annual charge. The income rider must be elected at issue and the owner must be 40 years or older. Lifetime income withdrawals continue even after the accumulation value is depleted. So you can begin income after the first contract year, as long as you're 50 years old. If it is a joint contract, both clients must be at least 50 to start the income rider. And the withdrawals can be paid monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. The fee on this product is higher. It is 1.25% of the accumulation value, but it does have the doubler, 100% for single life owners and 50% for joint for up to five years in the event of chronic illness or severe cognitive impairment. And the surrender charge on this policy in most states is 14 years. However, in the 1010 states, it does have a different surrender schedule, as you can see. Next product we are going to go over is a product that is strictly a long-term care annuity. But I thought since I would be talking about long-term care type protection that clients receive with doublers on income annuities, I should go over an annuity that does strictly provide long-term care for your clients. 
Annuity care offered by One America has a base policy. Issue ages are 50 to 85. It does have single or joint. It does have the base contract of a 36 month payout for long term care expenses, and there is no telephone interview required for the base contract. Now, the other thing that is fantastic about this policy is not only does it offer single or joint, but it also offers what One America refers to as their continuation of benefit rider. So what that means is your client can have a long-term care benefit for their lifetime, whether they are in a skilled care facility for three years or 10 years, it will pay, as long as they elect the continuation of benefit rider, it will pay for the lifetime of the client. However, the continuation of benefit rider does require the telephone interview. Then we're gonna take a little look here of the highlights. So client invests 125,000 in a non-qualified annuity that they don't need for income. The minimum, it does have a minimum 3% guaranteed rate. So the base contract of 36 months is going to cost the client $102,500. The continuation of benefit rider is gonna cost the client $22,500. But if they move that non-qualified annuity into a $125,000 long-term care annuity with One America, they will receive $36,000 per year in tax-free benefits. So they will not be taxed on the gains that they saw within their non-qualified annuity. I would like to close by thanking all of you for your time in joining me on my presentation today. I do sincerely appreciate it. As I previously stated, if you should have any questions about any of the information that I've presented today, please feel free to give me a call at the number on the screen, 800-255-5055. We appreciate your participation in our virtual summit event and look forward to assisting you in 2021. Let's make it a great year.